Hello, and welcome to game two between Reef and Crow Warrior. This time, balanced against uh, Maverick. Let's see if uh, Reef's luck can improve any. But from the looks of things, it looks like his luck through the bands and picks has already improved as uh, he managed to snag DFL, one of the most nasty divisions in the game, particularly with its rushing capabilities. These uh, FFI tractions are just nasty in any way, shape, and in every way, shape, and form. Not quite Russian everywhere, though. It looks like some of these are being spent to sneak behind the back lines. And the back line, to the back lines, they will get. But, let's take a look here. M8, Legionnaires, Cannon, Trump, uh, multiple Sappers, and the small Howitzer leader as well. Uh, machine Gun, more Partisans, another M8. Uh, the Machine Gun... Uh, 57 millimeters, the Treilleurs, Obisur, Legion Separate Pioneers, more Partisans, more Treilleurs, more Legionnaires, 37 millimeter machine gun, and Partisans up north. The first thing already going down, uh, the Partisans getting the better here of uh, one of Crow Warriors' units, as these Partisans attempt to snipe something too, but doesn't look like they're going to get it. These Pioneers both unloading well in time to prevent any shenanigans from happening. So, 20th Panzer versus, or, yeah, this is 20th Panzer, right? Yeah, 20th Panzer versus DFL on this map. I would have to give the upside to DFL almost every single time. Just their CQC and greatly outtrades a uh, Panzer division. And sure, uh, 20th Panzer has some great tools as well, particularly in the uh, case of these Panzer 3Ms, which are great at dealing with Shermans and the other armor that the DFL can bring out. I sure hope this wasn't a counter pick, because that would be a fairly odd one. You generally need really strong infantry to deal with this, and the Pioneers actually, they do get the uh, the TNT off and actually surrender one of them. The units that do fall back though as the Abusio moves forward, staying out of line the side of the Pack 40. Good move there, but um, hmm, these Pioneers, they haven't reloaded their satchel charges yet, so the Sapurs should be able to get flames on both of them and force them both to move without the TNT uh, being thrown again, which really would be what's needed here. Reloading, but forced to fall back. Back 40, gets the kill on the M8. As the Obisura technically is surrounded there for a second as the Ustal can come in. As a 3M, I just think the Partizans are something getting the better here of the Panzer gun idea. Uh, as the Panzer 3M moves forward. There's a 57 millimeter here to be aware of, and that Panzer 3 does not have very good uh, armor. So 57 million more than enough to deal with that. As the first plane comes in, actually misses the pack 40. Pack 40 having probably just in time. BF 109 also coming in to try and help deal with some of this infantry. Forces back the Legion Sapuos, but doesn't get um, enough suppression there. Us them as well, kind of just to screen for these pioneers from the looks of things. But the Legion Sapuos actually get the hit on the pioneers before it happens, and the pack 40. Having been uh, pinned down, the officer is free to just walk right up to it and shoot it in the face. Just get the kill there. 57mm firing at the Panzer III. Oop. Is gonna get the hill, and actually, this. <laughs> I can't believe the partisans with the two stands are able to deal with the Panzer good idea and, and hit it just that much. A little too late for the Panzer III, but does come in to kill that 57 millimeters, so it can't be a pain in the ass. Uh, further out, Panzer IV F1 and the Panzer IV G here. Actually, interesting to not see these two start um, come to deal with the Zobie Seals, but the Partisans are going to get into these buildings here, and the Panzer IV F1 definitely has to be careful of that. As, uh, oh, looks like it's going to sneak just by, but anything else that comes down here to reinforce is going to have a nasty surprise. Partisans in the far north not moving forward either. I would suspect at some point Reef is going to move these forward here and just sneak them in this building to cut off this reinforcement road as well. Infantry though, cleared up the last of the pioneers here. Also open, not long for the world. As the Obusur actually gets to the behind of the Panzer IV F1 and then microed away. Yeah. Us open versus partisans should easily finish that up. Another pioneer up here, though. 
It doesn't look like these parties have killed anything yet. Uh, just just fighting DFL and knowing there's troops in your back line could be so annoying. As uh, this Pazafini Tux comes up to try and kill the Zobizua. But it's got to get sniped by the partisans. Oh, that's... That's sad. <laughs> Teolio's coming in. Uh, these are an odd pick. I think they're just cheap infantry. So you might as well spam them. But... Not really what you like to see in the Obisu. It's actually <laughs> going to sneak past this uh, flak 30. But that flak's going to go down. Gets the kill. Yeah. At least he knows the partisans are in there now, and actually... Oh, man. Flak 43 versus an HE thrower. Oh, no. I don't think it's got to survive. Oh, he's actually moving it into the flak. He's going to bomb his own flak now. Ah! Ooh. Doesn't get the kill there, either. P47 now coming to bomb the flak right away. Yeah, versus DFL. Very, very powerful air force. Doesn't get the kill. Oh man, how does the P-47 not get the kill? I guess this isn't the, like, nuke version. There's also one with, like, a 500 kilobyte bomb that's just really nasty, but A continues to go down here for the uh, Maverick player. That's really not what you want to see. Everything will kind of be decided in uh, B phase, but as long as um, Reef can hold on, as we see another odd quirk of the front line here. I don't think the Stoßtrupp, though, unlike in the last game, uh, have the Raider trait, so did they change something with the front line? I am confused. I was hoping, forcing back the bimp. Uh, getting the surrender here on whatever was here over as well. As the Panzer 4 f one moves forward. There's a bazooka on these uh, Triolio commanders though, and that's just gotta go down. Unfortunate. Panzer 4 does move its way up here. I'll be sure. Uh, is seen by it, I think. And finally gets taken out, but it's already created enough problems in the back line that it's just going to be rough. And actually, one of these Ostopen is going to go down to these partisans again. Oop, just in time to clear that out. Partisans on the north now moving forward as a small push seems to be materializing here and waiting for the Ostopen to screen for the pioneers, no doubt. <laughs> oh man, come on. Freaking DFL. Like, I, I want to be partial but this is disgusting <laughs> this is worse than ptrs rushes it's just naughty right Ugh. bomber does come in uh is gonna get the pin down on those legionnaires from the looks of things but <laughs> forces the ostopen to fall back so nothing there to make use of that another flag 37 coming in as slowly if you let dfl build up planes and now I would go Maverick with DFL just to be able to build up planes with that, and then you don't even need the C phase income. But if you allow DFL to build up planes, it's just not going to end well to, for you. Bib catches the store still out in the open. Uh, Legion's Sepios haven't been brought in to deal with that, but the M3 Howitzer is now coming out to even further deal with any infantry that's going to try and make its way up here. There's still a partisan. There's going to be another one coming in here. It's going to clear this out. But this push for the time being has been completely halted. The bomber not even doing enough damage to warrant it. Pencil 4G and Pencil 4F1 should get the better of this uh, M3A3, both having the penetration to deal with that. Uh, which might allow this flag to be taken temporarily, but from the looks of things, all these troops are not going to be advancing onto this flag almost. As the support weapons come to just defend this. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The partisans desperately running away from the Canadias there. There's another Panzer 4 of one becomes slaughter for the <laughs> for the lives. Oh man, this is just like how do you, how do you freaking ah? They're so invisible. Panzer 4 bouncing the M3 though. Uh, the flag does go into the favor of Crow Warrior for the time being, so at least stopping the 12 12. But really, um, there's just a little bit of time here that there's only 10 minutes left really for Crow Warrior to make a move and gather enough forces to make a move as the F1 gets shot at by the 57mm and actually just might go down without the partisans even touching it. Pop. 
Yep. Well, at least it didn't go down to the Partisans. Flak 43 finally getting up now, but only likely only had two Flak 43s in A, so the air in DFLs is going to be a constant pain as more troops are reinforcing. It's just been, like, Crow Warrior desperately trying to deal with all this backline shenanigans as the Partisan escapes! Ah! Oh, why? Oh, this is evil this is evil there's so many partisans all this has to do is jump forward all this has to do is like move on to the road here ah oh, pets three getting the better of the obus here my god this entire game just makes my blood pressure rise i'm not even the one playing it <laughs> having turned off the sten it's gonna walk right past the hostel oh, finally gets spotted but reef with the micro ah oh. I swear to God. <laughs> How many more partisan kills can we get? It's like a bloody speed run here. No. But 37mm coming in to deal with this light armor. Pets of 4 having gone down, but so did the M3A3. M3A3, a lot easier to deal with, though, or to replace. The 57mm is still up and running here. Let's hope them. They're no longer the folks, top or whatever, the dual MG42 and the Panzerfaust that uh, I believe 17th SS gets, so. Dangerous there. Trying to clean up, clean this out. Well, with with a couple of squads of infantry, it should be doable. But one of the bombs doesn't even drop, and the other one doesn't pin down the Legion Sapuras as a counter bomb comes in to delete that grenadier. Number three coming in as well. It's still 12-12. All right, <laughs> partisans are still alive. As now we see an open ground engagement into the trees, and like sure. The dual brain guns and the dual bars are maybe not as effective uh, as the MG42s here, but there's still a green cover versus you know not green cover. So, as the Panzer III and the 57 millimeter are not going to trade shots, not great itchy on this. Does have to move. Thank you. Shooter kill though. Does take a hit. Oh no. Okay. Thank goodness. That would have been disgusting. <laughs> He's cognizant of it. Did something else go down to you? No, but he knows that this part isn't survived. Fuck. Just excuse the profanity, but my god. Ponza got an idea running forward now. Doesn't need to. As if he does get the kill there. Having run out of APCR, actually. <laughs> the 247B here actually doing good work, but the 37mm gun is here, so I just has to drive a little bit forward. Infantry, though, is quite messed up here. Another Beobachta coming in. Panzer Grenadier. <laughs> Finally deals with that. Um, well, for Reef, what likely happened, and I might actually go back and confirm this, um, is the Beobachta Panzer, it does technically have recon capabilities, right? So, while driving up, he likely spotted it. And that's how he got it. Um, because it is an artillery observer, right? Just like the, um, like little three-man artillery observer squads, these do, all the, all the, like, off-map vehicles, they do count as recon, I'm pretty sure. But that's a good idea, though, in the range that it wants to be in. Uh, to fight with supporters, but there's a bunch of armor here, as now Sherman has even been brought in. Off-map, uh, not gonna land very well. All the troops haven't moved forward, but we'll at least secure this flag. <laughs> oh no, not again. Is this even close enough? It might be. It might, yeah, it's within the 120 meters. Oh man. Panzer Grenadier will go down, likely not the pack 40, and then we'll see if the Panzer 3 end notices in time. Panzer Grenadier versus Trialios. Trialios do have the FN uh, to deal with it, and the Stostro are gonna lose out versus these Trialios. Off map comes down. Come on, push forward. Panzer 4 of 1 actually uh, on the ridge here. Does manage to find shots on the bimp though. This is a very effective off map that they do get. Lots of reinforcements coming in though after the off map is finished. You must have to follow it up again to just to kill the stuff there. Bunch of stuff moving in. Hopefully these uh, still stay suppressed as yeah, kind of idea goes down. Hustle open coming in again. 7 1. Oh, please don't kill the 7 1. Please don't kill the AA. I want to see an actual game, not a massacre. 
Uh -huh. It's gonna find these just in time. Oop. <laughs> I'll leave my words there, but uh, even just the one MP40 there enough to deal with that. Another Pioneer coming in as well. It's still 12 to 12. The off map gonna be missing again. 3M goes down to the howitzer. B47. That one looks a little more powerful. Does hit that. Uh, Pioneers are gonna get on the Legionnaires. The Kennedy is not really gonna do much against that. Mikey Zara is coming in. Interesting DFL deck here. Um, wanting to go for Pioneers and Trialeurs instead of some of the other troops that this has, but. <laughs> As the 3N goes down, and the Bardas is run away, as the Canadiens now has to sit here. At least it didn't get the AA. And But if you have to spend this much on AA, well, it is DFL. You're kind of in a bad spot. Panzer Grenadier, though, in a good position to uh, attack these Legionnaires. This is yellow cover all throughout here, so it's been bombed enough that it's hard to tell. <laughs> Marauder being forced back. This flag has gone temporarily in the hands of uh, Crow Warrior, but um, like being the being the Maverick player, he's had a lot more income, but the map still looks fairly even on the map, which is exactly what the balanced player wants. And I would wager it looks fairly even because there's been so much of this backline sniping. Like, probably over like 300 points have gone down to that kind of backline sniping. Makazar is now with the Molotov against Ostholpen. One of them's at least got their MG on target, but uh, the other one gets molotobbed. And that's gonna go down. Multiple pioneers here. There's no reinforcements here for uh, Crow. He's up finally. One of them actually went down. How? That's not it. These both went down earlier. What? That 37 d didn't kill it, did it? Could go to a plane? What? Oh, man. Well, either way, unfortunate. Another 7 one coming in. <laughs> These fact feelings are deadly, but they don't really have the range. Another off map coming in. Uh, maybe positioned a little bit far back, as uh, the push is already happening. You almost just kind of hope that these uh, Ostopen can land long enough for it to land, but... Um, yeah, that's not going to happen. So a lot of these troops are just going to advance out of the artillery observer's range. IG-18. Wow, actually getting a hit on that. Guess it's not too far away, but... Very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, man. I think I see what happened to the other 7-1. Ow. Pack 40 also been spotted. Goes down. Another Panzer 3M. The Kennedy is still sitting here, but, you know. <laughs> I swear to God, it's moving away. Ah! There, that gets another kill. I'm going to be so disappointed. Lots of infantry here now. Definitely in the favor of Reef. Off map does come down. Does at least force these units to surrender, but because it was uh, misplaced, not doing a lot of damage. And uh, there's nothing to follow up with it either. Airplane going down there on the side of a re uh, Crow Warrior. As the M5A1. Oh no! Okay, is this really gonna happen? It's just gotta go like five meters forward. Oh, it retreats. Come on. No? You don't wanna kill that? You wanna wait for something else? You wanna wait for a higher value target? Is the pads of 3N not good enough for you? Ah! My god, I think um, Reef got his revenge for that terrible, terrible uh, RNG last game. My god, this is aggravating to watch. So, anybody who plays League, anybody who wants to play League, ban DFL. A lot of, like, Division 1 players were saying, oh, it's too good, or it's, it's, it's no good, you can leave it unbanned, and it just got forgotten about or whatever, but, like... <laughs> No, this is just disgusting. If you don't kill these partisans, they will be forever a pain in your ass. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Let's make it 400 points. 
Don't, no! Not another one! <laughs> oh my. I'm done. I'm done. I can't handle it anymore. How much longer is there? Four minutes. We're in the C phase. Let's just speed it up. Oh, man. <laughs> There's no hope anymore. There's just so much has been lost. Both Flam and Covenant. After the off map didn't really do the job, but there's no way, eh? Look at how many planes Reef has. Even as the balance player has just managed to keep everything up. He's even got a Bofors up here, two star. <laughs> Goes down. This one flak 43 being the only thing that actually uh, is preventing a push here. <laughs> it's only 12 to 12. Crow Warrior's been ticked down more than Reef. So only a Panzer 3 heavier. This flag's in favor. This one down here. Gotta be careful of the, uh, well, this is just a uh, battery fuel, so. Might not have any more bazookas down here. I didn't see a second card of bimps or anything come out, so. Might actually be worth these pens before just moving forward to deal with things, but there's a 57mm that can position itself on that road fairly well. Also, open the punts are gonna do, doing its best to hold ground, which is the Maverick players, and not really the position you want to be in. Like, what is, what is Crow Warrior holding out for here? It's kind of the question. Let's get the penetration and actually get some micro out of the way. Panzer for force move forward again. <laughs> and it gets another shot in. Oh man. Well played by Reef. Another Panzer Four coming in. I swear to God, not again. <laughs> I've been saying that all game. <laughs> These partisans, they come with like eight Panzer Fours. They're almost out. Oh man, P-47 is coming in. One does not uh, unload its bombs, but uh, now that the M5A1 does bounce, so Hearth does get the thing. <laughs> one part is going down, forcing the IG to unload. With one heat shell left, this, I don't know whether to call him a hero or a villain, finally goes down, and finally, <laughs> 24 in the minutes of this game. Crow Warrior no longer has to worry about partisans. Ugh. Full flame and firing. This push did get uh, somehow deleted. Looks like something traded with the Panzer III in there. <laughs> this, another seven one goes down. And I think that's about it as the Pioneers now move forward. More to M1, 1410. <laughs> oh man. Was there ever any hope? I'm not so sure. <laughs> but what a game. I hope you enjoyed watching Partisans delete the poor 20th Panzer player's life. Oh, man. 17 to 6. <laughs> Full fun and getting the machine guns on the Pioneers. Oh. There's just nothing here. And there comes the surrender. 2,895 kills to 1,630. I'm almost scared to walk. <laughs> oh no. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. One of those shots must have missed. Jeez. Partisans more than paying off. If you consider that there's nine of them in the deck, and they're all ten points, like... <laughs> just the fact that that one partisan stayed alive for so long paid itself off, not to mention that. Panzer Vernichtungs, Panzer for G, and uh, Paravifio are here. Also not cheap units. Went down other partisans across the map. <laughs> well... Thank you very much for watching that with me, <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.